Xing Yi Quan is an extensive traditional Chinese martial arts system which features barehanded practice as well as numerous types of weaponry. The basis of the art is derived from weapon practices, most notably the Great Spear. As with the bare hand practices, the foundational techniques of Xing Yi Quan's weapons are the five elements. Their key vectors of force and body mechanics are applied to the weapon, which results in practical, direct, and no-nonsense techniques. The Xing Yi staff features predominantly two-handed techniques, focusing on power derived from the body as a whole with an imposing spirit. It is advisable that one is familiar and proficient with the basic bare-handed five elements prior to moving on to these weapon practices. Pi Gun, or Staff Split, is the first of the weapon's five elements. It features a splitting strike, which chops in a down and forwards vector. There are numerous variations of Pi Gun within my line of Xing Yi Quan. Here, I will present the first fundamental version of this element, namely Shang Gua Pi Gun, or Upward Hooking Staff Split which features an upward hooking action followed by a powerful splitting chop coupled with forceful, aggressive and direct footwork. In this primer video, I shall cover the fundamental details and standard execution of Pi Gun within my line of Hebei Xing Yi Quan. The length of the staff utilized in Xing Yi should be slightly longer than your own body height. However, it should not be overtly long either. It should not be a thin and light staff, and the thickness of its base should at least be equal to that of a circle created by connecting the tip of your index finger with the tip of your thumb. As with bare hand practice, prior to practicing the staff's five element techniques, one should ideally do Zhan Zhuang or post standing with the staff. This position is similar to the bare handed practice of San Ti Shi, and it also serves as the on guard posture or Yu Bei Shi utilized throughout the majority of Xing Yi staff practice. This is the foundational posture for staff five element practice. Stand with the left leg ahead of the right leg in the San Ti Shi orientation. Approximately 60% of the weight is on the rear leg with 40% on the front leg. Grip the staff with both hands. The left hand grips the base of the staff approximately 10 to 20 centimeters up from the bottom, while the right hand grips the staff's midsection. The left hand is held on the body between the hip socket and the waist, with the right hand extended out at chest height. The tip of the staff is held at nose height. Ensure the right shoulder is extended forwards with the elbow kept bent and drawn inwards. The tiger's mouth or huko of the right hand is pressing the staff downwards. Look ahead and press the crown of the head or bai hui upwards. Do not let the elbows splay outwards, but rather roll them inwards. The inner pit of the right arm's elbow should be oriented and facing upwards. Stand in the Yubei Shi or on guard position. Pull the right arm in towards the chest with the hand finishing in front of the right shoulder. As you do this, push the left hand out ahead at waist height. Next, the right hand chops or splits down directly ahead as the left hand pulls back to the left hip, sticking tightly to the body at the waist. The tip of the staff finishes at chest height. Repeat these actions continuously at a slow pace. When executing the Shangwa or upwards hooking action, ensure that the two hands work in a coordinated manner with the one arm pulling while the other is pushing. The upper body contracts, tucking in the abdomen and closing the chest as you do the upward hooking action. When executing the P or splitting action, the two arms should once again work in a coordinated manner, pushing with the right as you pull with the left. When chopping, lengthen and extend the body by pushing up the crown of the head and drawing the jaw in slightly. Ensure you utilize the waist and the shoulders with each action accordingly. Do not simply use the arms alone, but coordinate and unite the actions of the entire body. 
continue to practice on the spot in the slow and controlled manner, ensuring that each action is executed correctly and that the pathway that the staff travels with both the upwards hooking as well as the downward chopping is accurate and correct. Pay attention to the arms and elbows, ensuring that they are not splaying outwards. Once you are familiar with the on-the-spot execution of Shanghua Pi Gun, you may begin to add speed and power to this practice. Hook upwards quickly and accurately with an intent to sharply and forcefully pull the tip up and in, drawing in your right hand tightly towards your right shoulder as you push the butt of the staff out sharply with your left hand. Chop the staff out in a forceful manner as you quickly pull the left hand into your hip tightly. Ensure your focus of force is on the tip of the staff, aiming to strike at your chest height. The strike should stop abruptly. Ensure both hands grip the staff tightly. Aim to make a whooshing sound with the staff as it strikes out and have the tip quiver as you stop abruptly reaching your targeted area. Once you are comfortable with the on-the-spot practice of Shanghua Pi Gun, you may begin to add its footwork. Stand with the feet in the Santi Shi orientation and hold the hands in on the abdomen. Step the right foot out ahead with the toes angled out slightly and the knee bent and bring the left foot in next to the right ankle with the toes resting lightly on the floor. Next, step out ahead with the left leg and do a follow-in step with the right, ending in the Santi Shi orientation. Initially, practice this in a staccato manner. Ensure the thighs are not lax and opening laterally excessively. Add speed and power to each stepping action. Continue practicing this stepping in this manner, focusing on accuracy and stability initially. Once you are comfortable with the staccato execution of this step, you may begin to execute it in a fluid and connected manner. Execute the step now without a pause in between. Each leg takes a large and forceful step out ahead. Utilize your generated momentum in a connected and continuous manner without pause between the right leg's initial step and the left leg's step through. Ensure the following step is fast and sharp. Initially execute this in a slow and staccato manner. Standing in the on-guard position, step through with your right leg as you execute the Shanghua or upwards hooking technique. Next, step through with your left leg and follow in with your right as you execute the Pi Gun or staff split technique. From here, continue in this manner, focusing on the timing and coordination. Ensure you finish the upward hooking as the right foot lands and the splitting chop as the left foot lands. Practice this without issuing force in this manner until the upper and lower body are well coordinated. Next, you may begin to issue full force while executing this technique in a staccato manner. Maintaining the correct coordination, now issue focused force to the technique as was practiced on the spot. Each step and each staff technique is to be executed quickly and forcefully. Once comfortable with the staccato execution of the full technique, you may progress to do it in a continuous and fluid manner, maintaining the required issuing of force. The Shanghua or hooking up and the Pi Gun or chopping actions must be done without hesitation one after the other. By connecting these, you will develop the required transfer of power between them as well as the correct tactical method for their application. Practice repetitions in this manner as your space permits. When reaching the end of a line, execute a turnaround method to continue practicing in the opposite direction. Step forward with the right foot, executing a kou bu or toe-in hooking step. Next, step back the left leg as you turn around 180 degrees to face back in the way from which you came. As you perform the toe-in hook step, 
rotate your left hand away from its thumb and lift the base of the staff up above the head in a circular manner. As you do this, the right hand pushes the tip of the staff down and around in an inward direction, finishing with the tip just below your knee height. Next, as you step the left leg back, use both hands to lift the staff up, forwards and then chop down forcefully as the left leg lands. When finishing the chop after the turnaround, you will be in a right leg lead posture. From here, execute a pad step with the right foot as you do the upwards hooking technique and then step through as usual with the left leg as you execute a peguin or staff split technique. Now continue as normal in the opposite direction. Regular practice of Shanghua Pi Gun will help you develop the basic body mechanics for this action, as well as reap benefits towards the refinement of your bare hand Xing Yichuan practice as well. While generally weapons are described as being an extension of the limbs, as the core vectors and mechanics contained within Xing Yichuan are derived from weapon work, one may say that the bare hand methods are in fact embodiments of weapon methods. While deeper details regarding Piguin's practice, its variations and applications should be attained through direct transmission by learning from an authentic teacher. I have presented here the fundamental version of Piguin most prominent in Hebei lines of Xing Yichuan. The details covered in this primer video will enable you to begin or correct your practice.